our party is getting ready for their second session in the Nether Deep, and we're going to talk about how we prep. So let's dig in. <laughs> so last session, our party finally made it into the Nether Deep, and we are ready to start prepping for session number two here. First thing we need to do is talk about our characters we have chosen: our Bugbear Barbarian, we've got Dimitri, our Gnome Fighter; Iris, our Halfling Warlock; Jimmy, our Sea Elf Druid; and Trixie, our Human Artificer slash Wizard. The thing that I have added over here is the Ruidium Exposure, and I'm not sure if I talked about this or not, but this is an easy, quick way for me to reference what's going on with each of my party members. So I'm actually going to have them make a save every time they take a long rest in the Nether Deep, and if they fail, they will have corruption from. Iridium, among other things, there's other places in the Nether Deep that they can have that happen. Our strong starts! They have just finished searching the destroyed house in Area N5 Living Memory and have found the names of the three women who helped Alexian. As they found the third name at the end of the last session, three ghosts emerged from the corpses. We're going to have them roll initiative right to begin with. So we'll take care of that right off the bat. Basically, the ghosts are just going to fight until they hear their names and then they will stop and they will talk to the players a little bit about Elixian. Scenes, we just have the Nether Deep again. Uh, I've got a link to that as well and then reminders about each level of Heroidium Exhaust. So this is pretty easy. I will just go over each the areas I expect them to go to again. Right now they're in area N5 and they may branch off to N11 or they may go continue to N6. So we'll kind of be prepared for either direction that they may go. Secrets and clues. We have a couple of them. We need to let them know that the creature, a creature must possess a fragment of suffering if they want to enter the heart of despair. The maximum number of fragments a creature can possess is three and the fragments can be transferred between creatures. So right now they've only found one, the fragment of despondence, and that is possessed right now by Iris. So she's got that and we'll continue to give fragments as my party finds them. I expect we'll find another one, maybe more in our next session. I have also added the Apotheon lore table here in our secrets and clues so that I can check them off as we reveal them. We've only had the one so far, but there are plenty more to go. So we may need to add these in more so that we can get through these faster, or maybe we just won't get to them, and that's fine too. Uh, NPCs, really the only NPC we have is Elixian. This is something I'd added recently. I don't know why I ha it's taken me this long to add Elixian, but here it is. Just some quick information on Elixian and then a picture. So nothing super, super exciting, but finally added an Elixian as an NPC. And then monster stat blocks. In preparation for our last session, I only did the stat blocks for the areas I expected them to go to. Well, they went further than I expected. So now I've got stat blocks for each of the monsters that are in the remainder of the Nether Deep. Area N5, they have the three ghosts. N7, there's a couple of different waves that they'll face. The first is a Sword Wraith Warriors. Then wave two is some more bounders. And then a bunch of the Sword Wraith Warriors will transform into a Slithering Bloodfin. Wave three, we have a Sword Wraith Commander, a couple of Sword Wraith Warriors, and then they are on the back of a Horizon back toward us. Down in the vents, of Fury, if they happen to talk bad about Elixian, they can run into a cloaker or spawn a cloaker. And then in area N10, we've got some Slithering Bloodfins again, a Swarm of Sorrowfish, we've seen all these before. In 11, we've got Light Devourers. In 12 is a Death Embrace. And with this, I may add one of the rival party members being petrified. I haven't decided on that yet because my party believes that the rivals are already in the Nether Deep and they kind of ditched them. So they're pretty sure that they're going to have to fight them at some point. We'll see if that actually comes to fruition or not, but I may have one of the rival party members petrified here in this area. N13, we've got Scuttling Serpent Maws. N14, the Skeletal Blood Fins. So this is a Slithering Blood Fin, but the Skeleton variety. Once change I might make on this is instead of the Swallow, I might have it like a Grasp because it doesn't make sense if they're Skeletons that they can Swallow. N15, we've got Elixian the Hunter, who's basically just a Stone Golem has some Ruidium elements. N16, we've got two Corrupted Giant Sharks. N18, there's Chols, Chasm of Yearning. So there is a possibility that you roll on a table can have an interaction with the Will-O-Wisp. So we've got that here. N22, we have some Revenants that they can awaken from some graves. N23, again, Death Embrace. We may add another party, another person or two that they know as Petrified here. We'll see. Swarm of Starfish. N24, the Diva. That is it for monsters. Uh, treasure, we have marked off only the Fragment of Despondence. That's the only one that we found, and then it was found by Iris. And then here is everything else that can be found in the Nether Deep. We can check these off as my party finds them. Printed item descriptions, those are all done. Adding anything to D&D Beyond, we already did that. And then we are actually not printing cardstock minis as we talked about last time. I've got them all printed off. Most of them are painted already. So I think we're ready for our next session. From here on out, not a ton to prepare for. Just making sure I understand the encounters inside each little area. And I'm prepped for those a little bit so that my party is challenged. The big thing will come once we get to the Heart of Despair with Elixian. But that's it. Thank you guys a ton for watching. I appreciate it. Special thanks goes out to my patrons. Truly do appreciate you guys. We'll catch you in the next one.